What is going on, my friends? First official video of the new year of 2024. It is January 2nd, currently 14.30 or 2.30 p.m. for your non-24 hour time, folks. We are on version 11.4.9, heading to a, a billiard supply store in La Mesa. And we're gonna see how 4.9 does. It's about 17 kilometers away from our current location, just under 20 minutes, and we're gonna Enjoy 4.9 trying to handle this route. Glad we didn't change lanes there in the middle of the intersection. We'll see how the rest of the ride goes. If you're curious, wondering, you know, something looks different about Kaz. What's what's going on? What are these new vibes? Well, it should be pretty obvious. <laughs> Given I did not reach my goal of at least 15,000 subscribers by the end of 2023, I had to follow through with my promise to start the year off with a clean shave. There is a video on my channel from 11 months ago that I linked on X and, and on a YouTube community's post you know, talking about this new look starting out the year. And it's because back in the beginning of 2023, Mike with Mike in the Woods and I decided to settle on a beard pact after he originally had the goal of hitting 25,000 subscribers by the end of 2023, but a minimum of 15,000 or he would shave. So I matched that and um, he did quite good, you know, getting over 11,000 subscribers but didn't meet that goal and neither did I. So you'll notice both of us starting off this year baby faced. <laughs> so I've uh, enjoyed a lot of the comments. I've been related to Michael J. Fox, Marty McFly twice. Uh, lots of funny baby face comments. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun getting roasted and trolling along and sending out my own gifts of Dwight Schrute from the office and all kinds of shenanigans enjoying this weird new look. Um, I am definitely out of my element. I haven't had a clean shave in seven years since being in the Navy. So this is a weird feeling. Anyways, enough about that. Enjoy the funny look. And we're going to fast forward through these red lights and enjoy 4.9. All right, here we go. Been out driving around and working since uh, about five this morning. Archimodo is still closed till tomorrow, so been enjoying just kind of having a more chill Uber and Lyft day, getting reacquainted with FSD. It's one thing about 2023, given my busy schedule with Archimodo, I did not have much time at all in the last six months or so to really put out any content. And I'm really wanting that to change for 2024. Really trying to refocus on the content life, I mean, amongst other things I'd like to pursue. So that will be my goal least a video a week if I can, maybe more, scale it up as time allows. I appreciate everybody's patience and support while I've been uh, slacking in the content department. Not too bad so far. Pretty comfortable ride, letting people in. It's an average sort of day. Uh, traffic would normally be pretty hectic right now, but given a lot of companies and people have taken today off as well, it's not as crazy as it'll likely be tomorrow around this time. Maintaining our current lanes instead of getting into this carpool lane, which is good. We'll see how we handle our lane selection and speed-based lane changing. We are in average mode. Yep, because I ticked down to chill by checking. Not messing with minimal lane selection for this. That's something I typically do when I've got customers like to accelerate more. There's a little jolt there. That was the car, not me. I've really been having to try to get used to this super sensitive initial nag when you fire up FSD. Because if you're remotely looking away at all in the first like three to five seconds, you're just instantly hit with a pay attention warning. <laughs> it's so annoying. All right, not bad, not bad. So we got an exit coming up here get on to the 8 heading eastbound into La Mesa. So it's a good little split of city and highway driving. It is my opinion that when it comes to the highway, less is more. Just picking a lane and cruising along, unless, you know, they are excessively slow or it's really holding you up. You know, dancing around doesn't really do much but piss people off and make you look stupid, so... Hopefully we just cruise here. This is a great lane to cruise in. Either of these two, I prefer this lane for cruising. You're not blocking up the on-ramps and exits, and you're not blocking up the passing lane. Here we go. Choking up a little bit up here with some traffic. Don't have any actual stoppages. I'm not seeing any coloration to indicate heavy traffic, so... 
probably just have a little scrunchy effect happening. Somebody hit their brakes and everybody slows down. <laughs> All right, now we're adjusting lanes. A little nag weight there. Ah, just people looking at these guys. Nothing going on. I'm gonna do more things like this where I'll probably end up just picking sort of a random route while I'm out during the day in between customer rides. Um, I do wanna do customer related stuff too, but that does hinge a lot on how active or talkative or involved a customer is. I am not the kind of person that's gonna go out of my way to sell them the ride and get them talking just for the channel. I like to do it organically. So I might do some voiceover stuff though with customers that don't realize that FSD is active and just talk about what's going on. I don't know, we'll play it by ear. We should not be slowing down that much because we got this car behind us on our butt. I gave it a little throttle tap just to move us forward. We don't need to get over for our current path. So slowing down that abruptly was unnecessary. And though the driver behind me should not have been that close to me, you gotta factor in the human dump factor. It is a uh, large margin in busy cities. Yeah, this, this girl is just on my rear end. You gotta chill out, girl. Back up, back up. Usually it's the young and patient dudes that are all over. Typically in a BMW. <laughs> this is a little impatient Toyota. All right, there you go. Now she's, she's at a good distance. Just, just chill out back there. Mostly natural. Nothing really to write home about. All right, come on, dude. I'm about to just initially or intentionally slow down out of principle. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> Won't let it get under my skin too much. See, so after we come up this highway, oh, well, we got a while. You know, that's a good seven kilometers to Spring Street. So if it's not eventful, we'll just kind of zip forward through a cut or fast forwarding the footage, whatever works. Ideally, I'd like to be one lane over. I don't want to sit in this lane. This is a lane that I look at as an on-ramp, off-ramp sort of scenario. I, same with the passing lane. You don't want to linger here. We got a good six kilometers to go. There we go. Changing lanes away from merge. Bingo. It should have happened sooner, but I like that. I like that that is an active mechanic. It needs to be. Let's see, we're reacting to this turn signal. Not as much. Changing lanes into faster lane. All right. No gripes there. We still have two lanes to spare. Plenty of choices. I like what it's doing. I like it. I like it. Man, I hope this is the year we get to test version 12. No, I don't think it'll be out of beta initially. I do think version 12 will very much be beta just like this. I think with version 12, because I've been asked quite a bit about version 12, that it's going to show us another glass ceiling. Uh, that's been talked about in the past by Andre, by um, Ashok, by Elon, that as they've discovered the difficulties of FSD, they've made improvements that have shown them new glass ceilings. You know, or in other words, a threshold of improvement or a plateau that you have to circumvent or figure out, iterate your way out of. And I do think that version 12 will overall be quite a bit better than version 11, uh, but I don't think it's going to be the cure-all off-rip, or in other words, it's, it's gonna take some iteration. Um, and anybody who's been following should think that as well. I, I wouldn't get too swallowed up in the hype that version 12 will just come out and be ready to license to other companies and, and kill it. Uh, I do think though that rather soon after version 12, iterations will come along that will, I think, make it to where these could operate on their own in certain regions where Tesla has the data that's performing really well and then they can iterate on the areas where it's still not doing all that hot until it does get to that threshold. It's an improvement game, you know? Iterate, improve, find the problems, iterate, improve, repeat. It could be version 12, version 13, 14. It really depends on the semantics of the scheme that they decide to go with, because you can have an infinite number of updates in a version. You could have version one through version or sorry, version 12.1 through version 12.1 million to get that point across. So at some point in version 12, yeah, I can imagine it being, you know, 
out of beta or an official product release. But try to tamper your expectations. I'm excited, but I'm also trying to stay grounded in reality. Uh, yeah, we definitely should have staged earlier. We're less than a kilometer away now from this exit, and we're still sitting here. It's a good point to get over, though. There you go. I like it. That was a good threshold, a good window of decision making there. Very nice. And we got some interesting roads coming up. Railroad crossings and kind of some cool splits and such. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully we slow down and get behind this Ford. We're lingering a little longer than I'd like. That was okay though. Got over just before the solid. Pretty good, pretty good. We are less, no, we're right about a kilometer away from our destination. Let's see how we go through here. Turn signal saying that we're choosing the right fork to stay on route, which is good. So we got three choices, a left slash U-turn, a straight through squiggle, and an apartment entry. So we chose the correct one and we're not stopping, which is good. We know we're just getting along. And we got uh, two lights to pass. And on the third, we'll be making a right-hand turn. <coughs> Finally over my cough too. Man, that was a pain. You guys don't have to hear me juggling around cough drops anymore. Well, we got a train coming now. So that will not affect us. Looks like a trolley. I can see it coming up from behind. A couple ways away. Uh, or huh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm probably skipping this anyway because it's a red light. Oh, now it's green. Here we go. Cool, trolley coming up. Don't know how this will affect us. It really shouldn't. Probably 20 seconds from them passing us. We still have a whole street to cross before this one. There it goes. Yeah, that'd be well past us before we're turning. Really? Why are you? Okay, maybe it was just adjusting for the, the new turn lane. <laughs> That was funny. Almost wonder if the system got a little spooked by the trolley. Well, I guess we'll see where the trolley's stopping. This could affect our route. Let's see. How will this affect us? Because now the trolley, I think, is stopping at the light where we have to turn to the right. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're going to be stuck in this traffic anyway, so. <laughs> Anticlimactic, I think. Oh. We have a green light with a no right turn for obvious reasons. Oh, but it's leaving. Timing is such a funny thing to think about when it comes to self-driving because we can't actually turn here until it passes and we get the go ahead. The barriers come up. We're saved by the fact that we have a person in front of us. I'm really curious what would have happened if we were the lead car. Okay. Now we got the clear to just go on through here. <laughs> really close to that curb. Oh my gosh. Cool. I'm going to take over because our billiards direct is right here to the left. And got some traffic building up. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, not too long, not too crazy. System did really good. Didn't really have to take over. Just maybe one or two throttle interventions because it was moving a bit slow. And uh, yeah, I'll park down here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, lots more content coming. I'm excited to be back in the swing of things and I'm looking forward to growing my manhood back <laughs> thanks for tuning in everybody y'all have a good one